It's buzzing in here ahead of game three. And we'll be back in a minute to get it started. Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the New York Mets taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. We're looking forward to what's sure to be a dramatic Game 3, Chris. And Boog, this is as close to an elimination game as you can get without it actually being one. Going down 3-0 with more or less just in this thing. So this game's going to tell us whether we're going to have a real series in store for us or if we're just going to be packing our bags and going home. A lot of people feel these teams are more evenly matched the first two games would indicate. So we'll see if we get a bounce-back performance in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Back here at the ballpark, and now Mark Canna. Leading off for the Mets, the left fielder, Mark Canna. That's in there. Strike one. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Craig Kimball looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Gonzalez warming up as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. The next nope. offering misses. One and two nope. to count. One and two. Next one off the plate inside. Two and two. Next pitch misses, and the count's full. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab, and there's one away. Now that. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to hit. The switch hitter batting right. First pitch, and he just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Well, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Next one misses. Full count now. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Kershaw fires. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Now it's J.D. Davis. That pitch gets the inside corner. It's 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Next one is off the plate. Yeah, the count one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Ripped to short, Turner collects it. In plenty of time to first, and that is that. Mets go down quickly. They're down 1-0. Bottom of the seventh. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And first offering is fouled off. Thank you. 
Next pitch misses and one and one. Next one in the dirt. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next offering is foul back. Two two now. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Now one and one. And one and two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there are two outs. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. So such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Here's Turner now. That one to first. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Three up, three down, inning over. Dodgers down in order. They lead it 1-0. Back here at Chavez Ravine. All set for the start of the inning. Jeff McNeil stands in. The, second base. the wind of the pitch. Jeff McNeil. And a strike. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future at-bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield. McCann at the plate now. Looks at one down below the zone. Not even close there. Two and oh. The next offering misses. And now three and oh. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And there's ball four. Well, just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Here's Brandon Nimmo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. And now the lefty curveball over for a called strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. That misses the zone. Now one and two. McCann at first, one gone. Next pitch is downstairs. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. And the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's two down. And now it's going to be Starling Marte for the fourth time tonight. 
Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. And a pitch. And a slider catches the zone. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Hit in the air, right field. Into the dive, and he got it! One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder, you lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the boys fired up in the dugout. And welcome back. On to the bottom of the eighth, here's Cody Bellinger. For the Dodgers, the center fielder, Cody. The pitch. Bellinger. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Next offering is downstairs. He swings and fouls one off. On the ground, right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. The bat, number three. Chris Taylor, Taylor down. Chris Taylor. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Smash to the left side. Tosses to first. Taylor out of the play. And now it's Gavin Lux. Into center. Nimmo under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers go down quietly, but they hold a 1-0 lead. We go to the ninth, leading off Francisco Lindor. He's been so sharp today, even over 100 pitches thrown. His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. In the air, left field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one away. Up next to the mat. Here's Pete Alonso. So right-handed slugger at the plate. Chrissy is surprised that the lefty is still in there. Extremely. I mean, you've got arms down in the bullpen, and there's somebody down there that can match up, try to get out of this jam. Next offering is in for a strike. That slider breaking in can be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that bite at the end and it stays out over the plate, it can get hit a long way. But that was a good one right there. Kershaw the 2 1. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next one just misses. And that's ball three. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that quickly, two away. Here's Mark Canna. First offering, and it just misses. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Next offering is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. In for a strike. And a count, one and two. With the shift on, pitch right into it. 
Throw to first. Ball game. And the Dodgers get a shutout on the mound. So the New York Mets are now just one win away from the World Series. Yeah, this thing has sweep written all over it. These guys are playing their best baseball of the season at the best possible time. Looking dominant here in the league championship series. And for a team facing a sweep, chances to turn the series around are quickly running out. They're really playing against all odds now. baseball fans and welcome MLB the show brings you the National League Championship Series it's the New York Mets taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers alongside Chris Singleton I'm John Chum plenty of storylines taking shape in this series as we set the stage for game four Chris well the number one thing to discuss is just how lopsided this series has been you know you get to this point of the season Boog and you expect both teams to be on pretty even ground but it's not played out that way at all and when a team takes care of business with such dominance it gets out to a 3-0 lead I just can't see this series lasting much longer yeah that's usually the way it goes but hey Coming back to win the series has been done before. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. New inning getting started. And now Brandon Nimmo. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And that one clips the corner. Bullpen activity starting up now. Rustar Grotterol looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Vesia, a left-hander, also throwing. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Down the line towards the corner. Betts racing over to make the catch. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Marte in the box with one away as he takes one there for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Next one off the plate inside. Two and one. Next offering misses. And now three and one. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Next offering finds the zone and the count is full. 3-1 count saying to himself I've got to get a fastball here just spins a get me over breaking ball to bring the count full sharp grounder that's through for a base hit Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Francisco Lindor up now for the Mets. One for two. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game. The pitch out. Kicks and deals. Again with a pitch out. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. 
the pitch. Marte on the move. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Lux makes the catch. Two away down. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. That's a slider for a strike. And here it comes. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Righty delivers. That's in there. Marte on the move. Pitch is high to second, but way too late. Safe there. Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. Runner at second, two down. Bueller checks the runner. Marte dives back in. Right hander kicks, deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Betts is on the move. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. Mets leave one. They're down two to one. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Now it's the second baseman, Chris Taylor. And the pitch. The second baseman, Chris. This to center field, Nimmo. As this one sized up, brings it in, one down. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's 0 for 1. In there, and it's 0 1. Well, who would have thought Jacob DeGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth-round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher? Back-to-back -back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. Next pitch inside, and the count is 1-2. and two. That's towards center. Nimmo settles under this one. And there's two away. Here's Trey Turner. First offering misses badly for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Now fly ball to right center. Nimmo moving under this one. He's got it. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Here's the left fielder, Mark Canna. The left fielder, Mark Bueller back to work. And that's in for a strike. Pitch misses. One and one. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Out to short. Turner with the throw to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. That clips a corner. And 
the right he deals. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. That one hit to right. Betts under it. He makes the grab. Two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now it's Dominic Smith. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Rolled slowly to first. And he grabs it in foul ground. The wide to kick the pitch. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now here's Jeff McNeil. That one's in there, 0-1. Going with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. Strike two. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers two and the Mets one. Back here in L.A., bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Mookie now. The right-hander back to work. And a foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. count one and two next one is off the play and that's ball two in the air out towards left center and he dropped it Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, an at-bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at-bat. Ground ball left side could be two. Feed to second, that's one. Over to Alonzo, double play. The batter, the first baseman, Matt. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Max Muncy. And a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Next offering is way upstairs. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the third out. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Here's the catcher for the Mets, James McCann. Bueller back to work. 
That one's in there. That's strike one. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Craig Kimbrell up and throwing. Gonzalez, the lefty, warming up as well. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's nothing in two. Squibbed out in front of the play. Toss to Muncie. One up, one down. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. So the batting order turns over. So up next for New York. Brandon Nimmo. One for three. In there and it's 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Next offering is in for a strike. And he makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. Here's Starling Marte for the fourth time tonight. And first offering is fouled off. With two out and nobody on, you want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind him. Next offering is fouled back. pitch ball one there two balls two strikes to count with two outs the tying run at the plate and another ball at this point in the game you cannot issue free passes he's going to have to challenge this hitter hitter's got to be ready to swing it and it's ball four. He missed down low. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. With a single base runner, because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Rustar Grotterol gets handed the rock out of the pen. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Now at the plate, Francisco Lindor. He's already homered here in this one. Foul ball there. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Marte of the move. This one in the air center field. Bellinger settles underneath it. And that'll do it. Met strand one, and our score remains 2-1. Bottom of the inning, and here is Will Smith. And he deals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. comes a pitch here's a high chopper and he picks it up in foul territory next pitch is outside
Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Out towards right center field. Nimmo gets under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. Bellinger. And that's in there for strike one. Ground ball right side. Alonso gloves it. He steps on the bag, gets him easily, ends the inning. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Dodgers two and the Mets one. We go to the eighth and stepping in for New York, Pete Alonso. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. First pitch just misses. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Lake Trinan looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Gonzalez, the power lefty, up as well. 2 0 count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. Next one misses, and it's 3 0. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Right-handed reliever. 3 2 now. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Canna stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. The next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. The punch out there. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, he locked him up with the cutter on the outside right there, and I got to think he was looking middle in because he just couldn't pull the trigger. And, you know, with two strikes, fastball coming in, you've got to be ready to swing it. At that time, it cut to the outside part of the plate, and he just couldn't pull the trigger. New pitcher on now, Victor Gonzalez. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Here's the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. In there for strike one. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Kicks and fires. And now one and two. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. And a pitch. Oh, and it's filled up. Two down, nobody on. Up the middle, Taylor picks it up to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Nothing doing for the Mets, and they trail it here, two to one. Bottom of the eighth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. Leading off for the Dodgers, the second baseman, and the pitch. Taylor fought off foul.
Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Well, a pretty big contrast in that at bat. First couple of pitches down in the zone, and those are competitive pitches, so you have to respect it as a hitter. And then with two strikes, ran that fastball by him up high, and there was just no catching up. And next for L.A., Gavin Lux. First pitch, not close. Next offering is in for a strike. Out to short. Lindor picks it up, sends it across the first. Two up, two down. And up next for Los Angeles, Trey Turner. This guy has turned into a beast. That one's in there, 0 and 1. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Foul ball. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. So, man aboard. Here's Mookie now, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Two outs. Turner runs. Pitch in for a strike. Not in time. He's safe. Well, in the postseason, I'd say we see more teams playing for one run, trying to apply some pressure, and that's exactly the case right here. Speed on the bases, put him in motion, and it worked out. Now time to execute in the batter's box. Turner at second with two down. Right through there. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. To the mound now, they turn to Blake Trinan, trying to protect his lead. All set to start the ninth in this one. So now, here's the Mets' DH, Dominic Smith. And a pitch. That one missed. The 1-0. On the ground to the left. Slings it across. Now one gone in the ninth. At the play, Jeff McNeil. McNeil. That hits the dirt. One and oh. One run game here in the top of the ninth. On the ground. And they're down to their last out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Mets down to their final out. Here's the catcher for the Mets, James McCann. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Is just one strike away. That one misses, and a full count now. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Here's a speed threat Brandon Nimmo. Brandon. 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. The next offering misses. Ball two. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. That one in for a strike, two and two. <laughs> High fly ball out of the left center field. And the Los Angeles Dodgers are National League champions. They're headed to the World Series. Congratulations to the National League champions. These guys clearly excited, and they deserve every bit of this moment. Enjoy it, fellas, but get yourselves ready for the biggest series of your lives. For my partner, Chris Singleton, and our great crew, thanks for watching the National League Championship Series on MLB The Show. get it done in the most emphatic way possible they sweep their way into the World Series yeah after a performance like this they've got their eyes on the title Boog I mean they look unstoppable and just full of so much confidence and this was no ordinary opponent this was a team that a lot of people thought could win the title yeah and that tells you just how impressive this sweep is a dominant showing for a team on an absolute mission